Hello there. Welcome to this video dedicated to the newest Cyberlink PowerDirector 19, one of the best video editing products you can use to make your own videos and slideshows with amazing effects and templates in no time. You can get it with a subscription license as 365 or with a perpetual ultra or ultimate version. Please visit our YouTube channel and our official website to discover new and free tips, news, software troubleshooters, and much more. When opening PowerDirector, its dialog box opens, showing tutorials, Instagram posts, and the official YouTube channel to get help and ideas for your next project. At the bottom, you get everything you need to start. Set the video aspect ratio, including 1x1 and 9x16 for social websites and 360 degrees for spherical videos, and then choose the way to realize the video. For example, you can use Slideshow Creator or Auto Mode to pick ready templates where you can drop media and music files to realize videos in no time keeping full control on the final result and style to use. Whereas, you can choose full mode or storyboard mode to work on a professional environment with all the features inside PowerDirector. The only difference between the two is to work either with sequential storyboards or the most professional timeline with multiple tracks. In this video, we will show the full mode only. This main interface is made by several workspaces you can find on top. At first, you make and edit your own video under Edit, and then you switch to the Produce workspace to render, export, or upload your video outside. Another workspace called Create Disk is used to build DVD menus, chapters, and subtitles. We won't see it in this beginner tutorial. The Edit workspace shows the navigation panel on the left, the video preview on the right, and the main timeline at the bottom. You can import images, videos, and sound files by dragging and dropping these from the Media Room panel or directly from any of your folders. Now, PowerDirector 19 supports footages up to 8K resolution and media from professional camera, including 10-bit V210, YUV, and HDR color codes with the support of AMD VCN2.0 GPU. All these files are shown as blocks called clips with file name, visual thumbnails, and sound waveform. All visual content is collected inside video tracks and all sound clips inside audio tracks. You can check these clips by zooming in and out with your mouse wheel while holding down the control key. To move any clip, just click and drag it through time or on different tracks. Video frames with audio part are moved together unless you make these independent by right-clicking and going to Unlink Video and Audio. If you get visual clips overlapping at the same time, PowerDirector shows the clips on the lowest video tracks always in front of all the others placed on higher tracks in position. To adjust any clip length, drag its edges. This also cuts part of its original content. If you drag while holding down the control key, you will shorten or stretch the clip in time by changing its playback speed without affecting its content. To cut, copy, and paste any clip, click on it to select it and use Ctrl and X, C and V, respectively. Use Ctrl and Z to undo any time. To split any clip, 
place the main marker in time and use the split button. On the left side, you have several options to manage each track. The first button enables or disables its content. The second button locks the whole track in order to prevent any possible modification inside it. You can right-click on any track to add or remove any. The video preview shows your project in progress in two modes called Clip and Movie. In Movie mode, this shows the entire timeline content where its red marker is placed in time. You can click on the timeline to check any frame or drag the marker to check the progress with audio. For a complete and smooth preview, use the player. PowerDirector 19 supports Intel's low power encoder on 10th generation cores, granting the best performance on H.265 video encoding with the lowest power consumption in case you do not have your laptop plugged in. The other clip mode is used to edit the current clip selected on the timeline by moving, sizing, skewing and rotating it with the nodes on the preview. To apply professional corrections on the current clip, just double-click on it and use the options inside the PIP Designer. This includes chroma key, borders, shadow, reflection, and also fade transitions now much smoother in respect to older PowerDirector versions. Moreover, the keyframes on the right save defined property values through time, creating effects and corrections that change in time. This envelope is also visible and modifiable from the timeline directly. PowerDirector includes lots of tools you can use to adjust the clip appearance. When selecting any image, you can use the Crop tool to crop it by following any aspect ratio. Whereas, to crop with custom shapes, you can add masks by going to Tools, Mask Designer, new in PowerDirector 19. From the left side, you can add any suggested mask or add a custom one by adding text, brushing on the media, or defining any precise region. With any clip selected, you can go to Fix Enhance to apply professional adjustments in brightness, color, and audio quality. The newest color match matches the current clip colors with another used as reference, especially if taken with different cameras or lights. From the title room, you can pick and drop any 2D and 3D text on video tracks placed at the bottom to keep it visible. Double click on its clip to adjust its placement, size, font, color and style and add special effects. In addition, with the Advanced Mode, you can also add animations to introduce, in text, and add some motion to change the text placement in time. Besides the standard pieces of text, you can also add motion graphic titles, which may include any background or subtitles with amazing motion effects. Inside Video Overlay Room, you find several extra objects you can import to add mood and personality, including shapes, dialogues, and also amazing on-screen sketches. You can double-click on these to customize shape, color, effects, and text if present. To make new sketches from scratch, use the pencil tool on top and start drawing. 
Inside the particle room, you can find several 3D particles to make your videos more special. You can download and use many others for free from the official Director's Own website. Visit it from its link inside our video description. New in PowerDirector 19 is the Audio Mixing Room, a professional panel where you can check and adjust the volume level from each audio track. Make sure not to get any red level or you risk distortion in output. With PowerDirector, you can also add amazing effects and transitions to your media. From the effect room, you can drag and drop any effect on any clip and customize it properly with the effect button above. From the transition room, you can drag visual transitions to introduce or end any clip or go from one clip to the following one in a cool way. You can also adjust its length in time to also set its speed rate. To save your project, go to File and then to Save Project As. These get saved as PDS files, including media and full custom options inside. To render the timeline content, switch to the Produce Workspace. On the left, choose how to render your project, such as standard 2D formats you can customize in file type, resolution, and frame rate. Ready templates for online socials like YouTube or Daily Motion and the best setup to export on consoles, devices, smartphones, and 3D environment. Then, use the Start button at the bottom to start rendering. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Do not forget to visit our channel to find more and complete free guides.